Okay. What we want to see now is the relationship between risk-free rate of return and value of call option and value of put option. Okay, that if RFR increases, what impact it will have on call, what impact it will have on put. There are different ways to look at this relationship. Generally, RFR does not have a very significant impact. It will have some, but not very significant. And therefore, a lot of times, trader ignore this. Okay, but how can we learn this? So we can understand this relationship using simple put call parity. Okay, so see how S plus P is equal to B plus C. Let's see the call option. So call option is equal to stock plus put minus bond. Call option is equal to stock plus put minus present value of strike price is bond. Is it correct? This bond is nothing but present value of strike price. So I'm writing this as X divided by one plus whatever is the risk free rate of return rest to maturity N. If RFR increases, what will happen to this whole amount? If this denominator increases, what will happen to this entire number? It will decrease. If RFR increase, this whole number decrease, what will happen to the whole set here? You are decreasing a smaller number, so the whole value will increase. Which means that when RFR increases, the value of call option will increase. So there is a positive relationship between interest rate and call option values are we clear for put option again the same logic s plus p is equal to b plus c so now we would say p is equal to b plus c minus s p is equal to x divided by 1 plus rfr raised to n or t plus c minus s when rfr will increase the whole term will decrease and if the whole term decreases, value of put option will decrease. So which means that there is an inverse relationship between risk free rate of return and put option. Positive relationship between in call option and interest rate. Negative relationship between interest rate and put option. Are we good here?